pitch looking in absolutely fine fettle, fine condition as the team's just going through their last, uh, last few minutes of uh, team talks and getting ready. Our referee today, of course, will be uh, is, uh, Diane Foster and her assistants are Zach Dimitriades and, believe it or not, former MK Dons player Joanne Hallwood. And we're on the way here. Well, thank you, Bond. That's me getting ahead of myself, of course. Take it, so it had to happen. We take, of course, take the knee. I'm sure that will appear in the blooper section later on in the season. There we go. That's see, that's what happens. The excitement of the FA Cup even gets to the best of the commentators and me. But we will now get on the way. And indeed, we do finally get started. There you go, Chris. But can meet all take. And from the right hand side, the flight coming in. And the header in there hits, of course, while comes off. Oh, that's a let off there for MK Dons. And of course, with uh, no goal line technology and no VAR. So there with a throw in. Controlled there by Vicky Neal. Quickly closed down by Chandler. The Robs with midfield floats the ball to the edge of the penalty area. And here that. Chance of Wolf and a good block there from Stratton. Vermeer with a shot and a good reflex from the young keeper. That would move out. Fatuga Dada, a nice little back heel there from Ali. Release of Fatuga Dada, quickly closed down there by Vicky Neal. Well, Dons again, and this is the explosive pace here. Bell in on goal. Could this be the opener for Jay Bell? Oh, rifles that one low past Chrissy Wiggins. And straight from the, the other end of uh, MK Dons, wide in their luck and with that crossbar strike and a good stop from the keeper. They've broken the deadlock. Allegedly, off just before the eight minute mark. And again, just seeing Bell there getting in behind the defence with that uh, turn of pace, striking that low right across the keeper, giving Wiggins no chance at all. Warford nil, MK Dons won. And that's Jay Bell's sixth strike of the season. But a play of it, uh, some commentators have dubbed it turbos, and I think we could see why there. Up to Ward again. Now for Ward on the left side of the penalty area. Oh, a nice little jink there, selling the dummy to a defender. The ball coming out wide and forward to Fatuga Dardo, just sort of a. There's off balance here. And Bell bursting into the penalty area again for Dons, just dragging the ball back to Molly Cooper, but uh, pass lacking power. Rush tries the luck though, to no avail. Shares Albert just in front of a keeper, but uh, that seems to be So I can come out in the return though. Off target by Pepper. Opponent strikers are waiting for you on the edge of the area. As soon as you kick, that's it. They'll close you down. But here's a break here for, for Watford. For Tugadada. In a bit of space here on the right-hand side. Nice cross into the box here. Right across the face of goal. Ward on the follow-up. Danger not yet averted yet. As Neil hooks it into touch. But the wave is going to suddenly flow there. The choice today for MK Dons is did they put did they go with uh, experience uh, Hannah Barrett up front or go with maybe the pace of the younger version? That's of course that uh, Molly Cooper. But here's a uh, veteran there. Oh, Ward into the side netting. Point with a free kick. It's blocking out forward, but a free header there for Bell. Back to Huggins at the back. He's robbed, and here's Bell again. And there he nearly plays it through the keeper and strikes a foot at the post. Oh my word, and that was nearly a second there for MK Dons. Pepper with a little, little run up here. Just chips that one over the wall into the penalty and a hit first time there. This hook there from uh, Sasha Newsom. And a little touch there, fingertip touch there from, uh, from Wiggins. And then Cole Pepper from the left. Again, that's a familiar conga line. The chain gang in the middle for Dons. A higher ball into the box. Here goes far post. And glanced into the side netting though. Keeper in no real rush here. And that is the half time whistle here at the Orbital Fastener Stadium in Kings Langley. Watford nil, MK Dons 1.
Watford will be going all the way out to uh, get back uh, on even terms. Having fallen behind as early as the eighth minute, but having said that, as we, as we said uh, just at the end of the first half, it could have been oh so different. But here's a cross here. Can meet to overhead though. Oh, what a glancy finish there. And it's all square. That's into the start of the second half. Little jink in the turn there, turning boot inside out, the cross coming in. And a flick on header there. Rosie Kamita with her second of the season, and it's all square. Watford one, MK Dons one. The pepper in midfield for the Dons, hoisting the ball out in space and finding Sherelle Albert here. The Ambell's closing her down, but Albert still holds possession. And goes for goal, but that's straight at the keeper. It's better, he says, well, yes, the Zyder levelled the scoring just at the start of the second half. And they're just trying to consolidate and just now to push up the next gear or so. Here's uh, Adam Ward, the captain. Goes for goal. Oh, not a million miles away there, Helen Ward. In front for Watford, now midway through, Don's his half. That's for two Godada with the control. Shakes off the attentions there with uh, Laura Wright and plays the ball in his Kamita rounds the keeper. Can it be two? It is! And Kamita doubles the tally for the afternoon and Watford go 2 1 up. See that pass plus played in behind. Hannah Warren maybe not close enough marking and uh, the keeper does come off the line, but uh, Kamita rounds the keeper. And makes no mistake from close range. Now Kamita, who's now on for a hat trick this afternoon. And now Ward released, and uh, MK Don's opened up the back here. Helen Ward cuts in, goes for central and curls one in. Oh, not a million miles away either. In the passion of trying to get on to the next round. The Premier Cup game in women's football in England. And here's Kamita and the keeper's off a game. Oh, my word. Disaster at the back for MK Dons. I don't know what Stratton was thinking there. And Kamita has sealed a hat-trick. And Watford now firmly in control. Long ball forward. Again, Warren just drifts off again. And uh, Rosie Kamita... Taking her 18 minutes to get a hat trick in the second half, and that has definitely turned this game on its head. And MK Dons, the visitors, very much with food for four. And uh, that's for two Godada. His free kick just outside the area. Up to in straight into the midriff of the keeper. Just over five minutes to go of the second half here at Kings Langley's Orbital Fastener Stadium. Still go down with a shot at an attempt from range. 6-5 after seven kicks. And they went down to sudden death in the Midlands. And all barring, an, uh, well, a, a biblical capitulation as well for both these sides. This is the first competitive match they've played since the middle of December. And of course, I think the team's only started. I think you'll be able to start training. Started last week with a sound of the whistle there from Dianne Foster. I think it was the end of the contest, and indeed, it's finished here at the Orbital Fastener Stadium. Watford 3, MK Dons 1.